Hello, everyone. So I just came across a really interesting passage. So I was having a conversation with some people on my Discord for philosophy about um, sidereal versus tropical astrology and how for like most people only know about, well, in the Western world, like let's just say in the US and probably Western Europe, um, decide on their sign, their moon, their ascendant. That's what most people know via the tropical system. So like when you specifically look up your birth chart on the internet, that's usually what sites will give you if you, especially if you're like looking in English um, and from like maybe the US or Western Europe. And um, there's a lot of astrologers today, uh, Western astrologers that are kind of on this movement to instead prefer sidereal. Um, and that's, and Jung actually addresses it in, I'm reading on synchronicity on page 514 in the portable. And he gives like basically the reason. I don't think at this time he knows about sidereal. He just addresses the problem of tropical astrology. So I would really encourage anyone to look up sidereal birth charts and see what you are because it might be almost a month off. So Jung says that he's talking about how astrology probably isn't like the zodiac and personalities um, aren't a phenomena, phenomena of synchronicity um, because it probably is more of a, a a causal relationship. So he says, basically, the zodiacal qualification of the houses, which plays a large part in the horoscope, creates a complication and that the astrological zodiac, although agreeing with the calendar, and he's talking about tropical here, does not coincide with the actual constellations themselves. These have shifted their positions by almost a whole platonic month as a result of the procession of the equinoxes since the time when the spring point was in zero Aries, about the beginning of our era. Therefore, anyone born in Aries today, according to the calendar, is actually born in Pisces. It is simply that his birth took place at a time which for approximately 2,000 years has been called Aries. But so basically, um, like sidereal updates um, the zodiac according to the procession. Um, so for instance, in tropical uh, zodiac, I'm usually identified as a Scorpio. Um, Scorpio sun, let me, I think, I think it's a Taurus or a Cancer moon. And then the ascendant is maybe Taurus or Cancer. Um, but sidereal, I am identified as a Libra, which I feel I very much am, um, talking about like indecision and things like that. And then my moon and ascendant are also different. So, and then of course you have like your houses and the planets and various things. So um, yeah, so uh, that's just, uh, I just thought it was really interesting that Jung addresses it. Jung also apparently did an experiment looking at the horoscopes of various married couples, and he found that there was um, sort of like an occurrence between um, married couples of a conjunction between one person's moon and the other person's either moon, sun, or ascendant. So for instance, um, like let's say one person of the married couple has a moon in Taurus, they would be more than not likely to match up with a partner who either has their moon ascendant or sun in Taurus. So just something kind of interesting to look at.
he said there was a correlation that cannot be explained like by causality. So it has the element of synchronicity.